Τραγωδία κινείται μεταξύ τριών βαθμών. Επικαλούμε σε
I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Cassandra. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Afors and meet you in the throne room. Who are the Afors? You don't remember? Then again, you were only a child. The five Afors are elected from the citizens of Sparta. They have power over even the kings. You need to convince them if you wish to save Sparta from the cult's control. See you in the throne room. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the Air Force? You must have achieved some success to earn this adoring crowd. I brought home a wreath for Sparta. Though, I had to enter the games and win it myself. Very good. But what of our Pankration champion, Testicles? There was an accident at sea before he could compete. Games are hardly important. What about Viotia? Stentor and I defeated the Athenian forces. You have nothing to worry about. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? You act as if you don't know. Against you, Pafsanias. Sparta must be rid of Pafsanias before it's too late. He is a member of the cult of Cosmos and a traitor a to Sparta. Cosmos cult? What are you going on about? Is this some kind of joke? I have the proof right here. Your proof is right there. You know he's guilty. This isn't proof of anything. Ephos should only be called upon for serious matters. This lack of evidence is a waste of our time and disrespectful to the thrones of Sparta. The accuser should be made an example of for all other reckless fools. I taught her poorly. Punish me as her mother instead. We gave you every chance to prove yourself. Invited you back for a royal audience. And this is how you repay us? What say you, Archidamos? Cassandra and Marini of Agiad. Your names are cursed. May the Cryptia hunt you, and the Elotes scrape the meat from your bones! Agreed. A wise ruling. Too bad you don't have a mask or a black cloak to save you this time. You were there, in Delphi. Mother, Pafsanias revealed himself before I was dragged out of there. So he is the cultist king. It would be wise to deal with him as soon as possible. I will. When you've dealt with him, meet me at home. With pleasure. Ares has chosen me to lead the Spartans to glory. There can only be one. Son, 
Aeneas is part of the cult of Cosmos. I'll have to kill him myself. There's Bafsanias, Malaka. I don't believe you. Cassandra! You are condemned to be hunted! I should have been more certain before accusing Pafsanias. He is a plague on Sparta and its territories. And you say you are sure now? Where is he? So he can defend himself. It doesn't matter. It does to me. I found proof he was a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Undeniable proof. This letter was written and signed by Pafsanias' own hand, outlining the progress of their plans in Sparta. What is this Cult of Cosmos? You've mentioned them over and over, as if I should know. They're a secret group with one goal. ...to seize power. And they are using this war to strengthen their position. I find it difficult to think Paps Aeneas was using Sparta this whole time. We've ruled together for years. I'll speak with the Air Force to confirm what you say. But if it's true, you deserve to be called a Spartan citizen once more. And of course, your family home is yours again. Thank you. One more thing. Yes? Should you decide to rule Sparta yourself, at least let me face you in battle. I'm not made for ruling, my king.
It's gone. What's gone? There was a skull here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. It did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Rasidas! Come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pilos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. It sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in his path. If Vimos is in Pylos, we have to stop him. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Alexios is in Pylos. You have to bring him back, Cassandra. Bring him back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late. I'll do what I can, Mother. But I can't promise anything. Please, don't say that yet. The Cult of Cosmos has had too much time with him. He is beyond reason. Isn't it worth trying everything we can? And if I can't save my brother? Then we will have tried. We thought him dead for so long. I refuse to give up just yet. I'll do what I can. I should leave for Pilos now. Be safe, Cassandra.
Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. between you and me. And it is one you cannot win. If Brasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. He, yours, and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop. Enough! We will not stop. I don't want to kill you, Alexios. But I will stop you. My name is Nemos. One of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mate. Finally reunited. 
Only to lose each other again! You're cold-blooded. I would have done the same, at Pilos. Of course. That's not the first time you cast me away to die. Huh. So that's what they told you. It's what I know. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you anytime I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? It was the Pythia's prophecy. The Spartan efforts said there was no other choice. A prophecy? You and I both know who feeds the Pythia her words. I do. A baby with a fate so terrible it was thrown off a cliff. What kind of prophecy would lead to that? The Pythia said you were going to bring Sparta to greatness or to its downfall. Waiting for the outcome was too big a risk. A risk? I heard you're unpredictable. I call it being decisive. You weren't decisive that night. You, my family, let me go. Let you go? You have no idea what happened on that mountain. Then tell me. No one told you that I tried to save you. I ran to catch you. I killed an elder. That ended my life, too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could, and I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. They've kept things from both of us. Right, though you claim to know much more than me. It's Nikolaus. He isn't our real father. It was another man. A man like us. <laughs> How many more secrets am I supposed to take? When will I get the truth? Gods are cruel. Themos, we've been searching for you, and you are here... ...in the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, boy. Do whatever you want with her. 
I intend to. Now go. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in Squala. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Then you'll do things differently than Pericles. Friends flank my every side. The people trust in me. They know my every decree and law will be to their benefit. And they will delight in what I have planned. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Cassandra. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleon. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. <whistles> Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. Ah, at least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait. We need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Farnavas. Come, Farnavas. Cassandra, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses.
I was telling you about may join us soon. Guess things aren't going so well for him. You can hear You made it. Of course I did. Varnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon. Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? With your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mytilini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. The tragedy is connected with the three vaccines. It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. You could just get another actor. Oh, no. Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mytilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mytilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. 
Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pelix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick.